Chapter 1 The Young Fisherman The boy lived in the unknown in a place of time, surrounded by the village of fishermen. Outside the village of fishermen exists the land of Amaria, and outside the land of Amaria is the three other lands that make up the world of sight. Amaria, the loving land of water. Flare, the bright land of fire. Height, the high village of the skies. And hearth, the lowly land of pastures. The boy was born with a black stone that followed him, floating, called everything. And everyone in the world of sight had an everything. And everything could never be lost or stolen. And everything gave the boy whatever he needed at the right time. And everything never left his side. But very few could see their everything. The boy could not. In the unknown, in a place of time, everything gave the boy many gifts. In fact, everything chose for the boy to grow up in the unknown, in a place of time. But the boy didn't know it yet. Everything orchestrated it all. Now, the boy escaped in his mind all day and night, making different friends and traveling different places. The boy's imagination was his gift, but often cost him trouble. He would see and hear not. He would do, but do wrong because of the many lands he lived in in his head. He often dreamed of catching the largest fish in the sea, pulling it out of the dark depths and showing the world. He dreamed of serving others. But the boy's parents saw a future for the boy he did not want. They sought to control him and those that saw him. The boy's parents saw something special in him, but did not know how to bring it forth. But everything knew, so everything created. One morning, the boy's parents hid a box of four magic seeds at the top shelf of the boy's dresser in his room. The magic seeds held special monsters that the boy could ride to and from the three continents with, depending on how the seeds were treated. If they were planted and neglected, they would turn into ferocious beasts. If they were planted and cared for, they would become beautiful ships. But the boy's parents were busy with their everything and forgot to tell him about the seeds, so they sat in the chest. Now those that lived in the unknown in a place of time were neglected, so the boy was. And everyone walked with their eyes closed except for the boy. Now occasionally, everything would speak directly to him and he would listen, sharing the truth. But the boy was just a boy and his words were not heard unless he wanted what boys should want. And things were given to him, but things needed were not. And everything knew, so, Everything formed friends for the boy to make, but friends were forbidden in the unknown in a place of time, and the boy could visit them not. And when they came, he did not exist, for he was unseen. And everything created a whisper for the boy to leave. Leaving the unknown in a place of time. And one day the boy decided to leave the unknown in a place of time and packed everything away. As he was emptying the last dresser, he noticed a chest at the top. He opened the chest and saw four seeds surrounded in light. He immediately closed the lid and packed the chest away in his bag and left the unknown in a place of time to live in Amaria. And the boy's parents were upset and chased after him but his everything and their everything put up a wall to stop them, and the boy did not know. So he set out on his journey. Now, while traveling to Amoria through the woods, the boy was in wonder, seeing dragonflies, talking trees, and fairies. They were all happy to see the boy and played with him the entire journey through, and he cried in excitement because he was seen. For once, he was seen. And suddenly before him, was the land Amaria.